Hi, I'm Shobana, Senior Director of Engineering for TV here at Google. Thank you for tuning in to see what we've been up to with Google TV and our underlying TV operating system, Android TV OS. At CES, we announced that Android TV OS grew over 47% year over year and now has over 220 million monthly active devices globally. And we continue to be shipped on more new devices than any other tvOS globally, according to Tech Insights. Encouraged by this growth, our OEM partners have been bringing incredible innovations to the ecosystem. This year, Hisense is launching the Canvas TV, turning the TV into a beautiful picture frame while idling. And we are seeing new form factors, like projectors, growing in demand. At CES, XGME announced their all-new projector, the MoGo 2 Pro, with Google TV built in. We're thrilled to see the strong momentum. We are also thrilled to bring more value to our partners and developers. In 2023, users in the US spent on average 200 minutes in apps per day on Google TVs and other Android TV OS devices. As streaming flourishes, we're making improvements to help users find what to watch and open new discovery opportunities for developers. We've been able to partner with major content providers like Claro TV and Max in LATAM, Vodafone in the EU, and GeoCinema in APAC to bring incredible new content to viewers. In the US, we've expanded to over 900 free channels on the Live tab with the help of Pluto TV, Tubi, Plex, Haystack, and our own built-in Google TV channels. To help organize it all, we've added immersive previews of each channel and personalized categories like local news, which contain content that's relevant to each user from across different providers. Recently, we gave the Your Apps row a sleek new design, featuring round app icons that increase the number of visible apps in the row. We also added a reorder button at the end of the row so users can easily personalize the order of their apps. In addition to updating how apps appear, we've reduced their memory footprint, so users' TVs are snappier and quicker to bring up content. Also, with more apps switching from APKs to app bundles, we have freed up storage space significantly. This leaves users with more space to download and install the apps they love. We've also updated the continue watching row by integrating more partners. This makes it easier for users to jump back into more of their favorite movies and shows. Google TV has been an AI-first platform since its inception, bringing each user a deeply personalized experience. Since last I.O., we've been working on bringing even more relevant user signals into our models to help increase engagement. Now, we've been working hard to bring the helpfulness of Gen AI to TV. Want to know why a movie or show might be the right fit for you? We've begun using the Gemini model to generate personalized descriptions for the home screen's featured carousel to help users decide what to watch. And we now fill in missing or untranslated descriptions for movies and shows so users can discover new favorites they might have missed otherwise. For me, seeing descriptions in my native language and resuming content through the continue watching row has been really magical. I love how I'm always just a few clicks away from finding what to watch on Google TV. In addition to improving content discovery, we have developed innovative features to help users enjoy their content regardless of their setting. Want to watch some late night shows without disturbing anyone? We have launched FastPair on the Chromecast with Google TV, so users can quickly connect their headphones to their TV and swap audio outputs seamlessly. 
We look forward to bringing it to even more devices this year. Lastly, I'm excited to announce that our newest version of Android TV OS is now available. Android 14 for TVs. I'll now hand it over to Paul from our developer relations team, who will share more about Android 14, Compose, and some great tips on developing for TV. Over to you, Paul. Thank you, Shobana. Android 14 for TV is available starting today in the TV emulator and is rolling out to consumer devices starting later this year. We've been focusing on bringing three key areas to users in the living room. This latest Android TV OS release brings improvements to performance and power consumption to help developers like you build engaging apps for the next generation of TVs. We've improved boot latency on select TVs and reduced cold startup time by over four seconds in the home screen app. These optimizations continue across Google TV's experience with improved vertical and horizontal scrolling performance and faster data loading. We're ensuring the platform performs well on lower memory devices, and it's important for you as a TV app developer to be conscious of resource-constrained environments by building and testing your apps on low-end devices too. With our recent investments into sustainability, users have more control over power modes. With low energy mode and optimized energy mode, TVs will consume two watts or less energy when in standby. This will help OEMs comply with new energy consumption standards and help users save on their energy bills. Make sure that your app is integrating correctly with media sessions so that it reacts to power state changes. After all, you don't want content to keep playing when the user switches the panel off or changes input modes. We recommend using the Android X Media 3 library for its ease of implementation with ExoPlayer. For most use cases, all you need to do is attach a media session to your player when it's created and destroy it again when your player is torn down. The detailed guide on our Media Dev Center also steps through some more complex use cases. In the previous developer TV platform release, we introduced new APIs for accessibility, audio routing, and multitasking, plus new ways in which media playback is controlled by the platform. With these improvements coming to TVs running Android 14 soon, it's worth taking a moment to review how these APIs work. We're committed to building accessibility features so everyone can enjoy the best movies and TV shows. In Android 14, we've added color correction to allow users to adjust on-screen colors. We have four different preset color modes to account for different types of color deficiency. We've also added support for switch access paired with a virtual D-pad to enable users with motor impairments to easily navigate the interface. Lastly, we've added bold text to make text on the interface easily legible for users with visual impairments. All of these accessibility features can easily be switched on or off using the remote shortcuts. Picture-in-Picture -picture is enabled on select TV models from Android 14 onwards that meet our hardware compatibility criteria. To evaluate whether the device supports the feature, query the package manager for the Picture-in-Picture -picture feature flag. Please note that Picture-in-Picture -picture is only available for non-media apps that consume limited system resources and comply with our compatibility criteria. For details, please consult our updated TV submission guidelines. As Android 14 for TV rolls out, now is a great time to make sure your app is ready. Here are some tips and tricks for making an awesome TV app that improves the discoverability of your content. Earlier this year, we began rolling out the beautiful new Your Apps row that Shobana showed us. This means that your round TV app icon should look great. Be sure to check the TV app quality guidelines on the developer site to comply with this and other submission requirements to avoid any delays in publishing your app for Android TV OS. Next, we're introducing a new video discovery API that simplifies the integration that powers one of the most used features on TV, the continue watching row. This new API supports user profiles in your service and cross-device resumption, so users can pick up right where they left off on their phone or tablet. Also, Google TV is now automatically detecting app entitlement based on app downloads and usage. To make sure your users are getting relevant recommendations for content they're entitled to, your app can specify subscription tiers and add-ons that the user has access to through the Video Discovery API. So whether you've already integrated with our previous Watch Next API or are looking to integrate with the Continue Watching Row for the first time, work with your business account manager to enroll for this early access program, or stay tuned for documentation and samples as we gear up for general availability of the Video Discovery API. And lastly, I'm delighted to provide an update on Compose. From today, Compose for TV is available in 1.0 beta. The progression of our new UI toolkit comes thanks to the terrific response of the community. 
it's been incredible to see how developers are shaping beautiful UIs in Compose. We've improved input support and performance and have included a host of new features since our last update. Lists, navigation, ships, and setting screens are even easier to implement with dedicated components that look great out of the box and are a snap to customize. As a reminder, with its ease of implementation, extensive styling, and broad form factor support, now is the time to be migrating to Compose if you haven't already. We've also updated the developer tools in Android Studio to include the new project wizard to get a running start with Compose for TV. And by popular demand, we've launched the TV Material Catalog app so you can explore components for Compose for TV with different themes and layouts. You can find this and other updated samples on our TV GitHub repository. Whew, nailing all of these great integrations will surely delight your users. So why not identify positive engagement moments to prompt users to leave a great review? The familiar in-app ratings and review dialogue is coming to TV, allowing developers like you to get more feedback from your users. It leverages the existing in-app reviews API that is used across other form factors and will be available to TV developers later this year. The Android 14 TV emulator is available today. So get ready to channel your creativity, dial in those integrations, and broadcast your TV app to a bigger audience than ever before. We can't wait to see what you'll do on Google TV and the Android TV OS. Thank <laughs> you.